right so there is my glucose at 91 which is very high for me and a 0.5 of the ketones so what that is telling us is we got some work to do today I'm gonna tell you kind of how I knew this was gonna happen this morning um, but I'm gonna tell you what happened yesterday and how I'm gonna fix it today so look guys I know a lot of people think that you know I got this whole thing figured out but you know every day I just you know I'm not always perfect so anyways um good morning so yes this is what I look like it's bright and early it's 6 20 in the morning and you guys seen that I have a 0.5 on my uh, ketone meter and then 91 on my glucose which is really high I will insert the GKI right here um, I get that calculation from the keto mojo website um, yeah I'm not surprised so this is what happened yesterday uh, yesterday I you will see yesterday's so today you'll see this video on Wednesday yesterday you seen I did a bunch of keto baking I snacked as I went I actually don't think I really ate a meal yesterday um, other than my, I had like bulletproof coffee I had a little menudo which is like a, a soup and then um, I checked my ketones after that and it dropped me so um, and then I was like okay couldn't be the meat um, but when they make the broth for like menudo console all that stuff they take um, peppers and they rehydrate them and then they blend them so peppers tend to have a lot of carbs. So I'm thinking that's where, that's what, what did me in initially. And then, um, you know, as I was, you know, going and like, baking all day, you know, you just kind of, you know, do those things, you know, where you kind of just eat and go, eat and go. And um, yeah, I, that's, I didn't even have like a dinner yesterday. Like, you know how like when you, like I was baking all day, like literally six, seven hours. So um, I, that's that was it so uh we have some work i mean they're still reading which is good we'll take that um my glucose is elevated which i don't like that i don't like it being that high I usually like for it to be in the mid 80s but we're gonna see how we can fix it just by eating you know getting our fats in so we're starting off the day at 0.5 i would like to end the day um you know one one point three um, but we are going to go ahead. Um, we're having some kind of ground beef. I defrosted ground beef. We're having some kind of meal with ground beef. Please let me know if I'm not the only one who does this. Um, but we're going to go to the gym today. Uh, we have a snow, like, I guess it's a snowstorm. It's not too bad. It's just windy. Um, it's just gross outside. But we are going to go to the gym. And, yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to see how... I want to show you guys how I, I rise my number. Hopefully, hopefully I don't make an ass out of myself. But anyways, um, let me go and get my life together, uh, comb my hair and stuff. But good morning. Welcome to a full day of eating keto for ketosis. Let's do this damn thing. All right, I am starting my coffee. So we're going to do a bulletproof coffee, which is a great way to get our fats in. Inside my cup already, I have uh, one tablespoon or 14 grams of Curie's Gold Butter. I'm going to add 30 grams of heavy whipping cream. And I know a lot of people, um, you guys have seen me use the 3 Chat MCT oil. Um, I've also used uh, the Perfect Keto uh, MCT oil. I also want to tell you guys that it is an option that you guys can use this unrefined, pure, um, organic, this cold-pressed virgin oil, uh, coconut oil. Um, just use, I think it's 14 grams as well, or 15. 14 grams, yeah. So one tablespoon of this, and you can throw that in your coffee. Um, it's, you know, if whatever fits your budget. Um, this one's from Aldi. Um, it might give you a little a little tummy ache. Uh, sometimes it gives me one. Um, definitely if you wanted to do like an oil base, I like the 310 one um, better. But this one is a good option as well. So I'm going to get this all together, and I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so here is my bulletproof coffee. You guys seen I got a new coffee pot. My mama bought it for me. So shout out to Mama Mindy. But yeah, so here's my beautiful Christmas tree, nicely decorated, and my hot cup of coffee. And just to make it even more Christmassy, we got snow. 
and it's steadily snowing. So All right, my friends. This is dedication. This is me trying to be the best me no matter what the situation at hand is because it is truly ugly out here. It's slick, it's windy, and you can see it's legit snowing and it's like sleeting too because of what the temperature is dropping. <sighs> this is it. This is, I mean, I've been here my whole life, so I'm not surprised, but I'm just happy I got my butt up and came. So here we go. Hey, my friends, we are at the gym, as you just seen. Given This is the um, pre-workout I'm taking today. Um, I actually was sent these, like, I'm not, like, sponsored, but they sent them to me to try out. Um, I've tried C4 for the powder one, you know, many of times. And this one is a, like, canned version, zero sugar, um, zero carbs. And let me tell you what else is in here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, before, explosive, explosive Performance Energy Blend. Citrulline, Carnosin, Beta Alanine, Beta Power, Beta Andros, Thyrosine, Caffeine. That's it. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Um, but yeah, so anyways, it's zero sugar, zero carbs. This is what it looks like. The flavor is really, really good. Um, this this is no joke this is way stronger than a bang um Le like leo's kind of sensitive to caffeine so he couldn't he can't finish one of these he could only probably do half and then so even for me it's a struggle to finish the whole thing i usually leave a little bit left and then i'll drink the rest of it when i'm driving home um but it's really great like this sucker gets you going um, so if you're looking for something that's really gonna like kick you in the ass to get your workout done, this one is really really good. Um, they did send. I know you've probably seen the Extend. Um, I'm gonna have that. I've been having that in the middle of the day um, instead of like an afternoon coffee. I like that one because it does have. It's not. People use it as a pre-workout. I've seen Keto Rewind. I don't know if you guys ever seen her. Um, she's really great. She's very motivational. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. If you guys want to check her out, um, as her name is Keto Rewind, she's pretty awesome. She's like lost a ton of weight. She's great. Anyways, um, she was using it as a pre-workout and I tried it, but it wasn't strong enough for me, like at all. So I was like, this, this isn't working. Um, but it does have exogenous ketones in it and it does give you a little, a little perk of energy. Kind of like, I guess like maybe like an afternoon coffee ish would you, but anyways, that's what I've been having like post-workout just for the exo exogenous ketones but this has definitely been the game this is like you win it to win it you ain't playing no damn games so all right we're gonna go in there today and kick some ass do some cardio and all the things um we're doing week three of couch to 5k again because i'm still struggling but we're gonna keep doing it i haven't given up I'm just, I just get annoyed with it. I'm not going to lie. I'm very, it's very hard for me to stay dedicated to this couch to 5k thing, but I'm staying to it. I'm going to do it one of these days. I'm going to finish it. <sighs> Week three, third time. Maybe third time's a charm. Here we go. Cheers. Whew. I just had a season attack. Okay. So turn on the volume on my radio and it's not even up. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're out of the gym. It was a great workout. It was so empty because of the weather. Um, I mean, which was nice because I got to do a lot. They ended up getting um, all new equipment at Planet Fitness over here. And they got um, a lot of like the resistance training and like those core, I don't know what it's all called, like something X. Someone told me before. But um, so I was able to do, they have a lot of the bands and stuff like that. So I did a lot of leg work. Um, the next time Leo comes with me, I'm going to have him record me on my phone because we're not supposed to bring cameras in here. Um, so I'm going to try to see if he can record me on my phone and then I'll upload it to my computer and see if it works. But, um, yeah, I did really good. It was a great workout. Got a good sweat. I was in there for about an hour and 25 minutes, which was nice. So yeah, let's, uh, I have to go run to Costco real quick. Leo needs a snow brush for his car. He didn't have one. So I need to go get that for him. And then we're going to go home and uh, make some lunch. Benny is gonna hate it because he has so because I've got he has a little coat I got for him and I get him little booties and stuff like that um, when it's cold outside. Benny's my dog if you're new here, and he absolutely hates everything. But 
I gotta keep my boy warm. So anyways, if you do live in where it gets colder, don't forget, I've turned into one of these like animal people, but do not forget guys to, um, you know, dress them up too because it gets cold out there for them so um it's not below freezing but tomorrow it will be and if it's too cold it will tear up the bottom of their paws i also there's like um a balm you can put but i uh he didn't like that last year and i've been doing coconut oil and he really likes that it's real soothing for him so watch your animals okay because it's dangerous and don't be leaving them outside okay if you don't want to be outside don't leave them outside all right i gotta go bye okay i want to do another check just to see if my number is rising. Kind of see how that C4 is working with me, that workout, and then I have that bulletproof coffee already. So, let me get, my hands are clean. Right. So I think we were at a .5 earlier. What are we at now? Boom! So, I had 1.4, baby. So there we go. We're going to check uh, glucose too just to see. It was 91 earlier. So this is just um, the Bulletproof Coffee. And I took that C4 and I worked out. So that's looking good. Uh, let's check our um, glucose, okay? Yes, 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 yes. 80. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are looking real good now, okay? Now we are back in the game. We're in it to win it. So don't get discouraged if your morning reading isn't what there is. Is it, you know, you could always rebuild it back up. You could always put yourself back in into the swing of things, okay? So you guys are wondering how I get more fats to stay in ketosis. Here you go. So this is, the first reading was at like 6.30. It's currently 11.44. So um, yeah, let's see if we could stay in it. Uh, I'm going to make myself something to eat. This will be like my first real meal for today. So let's see what we can get into. All right, so we're kind of just uh, pulling some stuff together for lunch right now. This is a, a skillet, one of my new skillets. Hey. Um, and then right here, I have three ounces. This is just Costco rotisserie chicken. Leo had picked one up for the weekend, and we just cut it up and bagged it up so we can have like an easy meal. So I'm just going to fry that in there, get it nice and crispy, and see what we could kind of add to it. Let's see. We do have this cilantro cream Benny's eating my bra I gotta get that from him um we can do this one I think maybe it's two carbs one sugar we can do that um I have an avocado you know what maybe we'll have some shredded mozzarella on there oh yeah that's what I'll do I'm gonna do like I'm gonna fry it up and then I'll top it with a couple grams of shredded mozzarella and then I have an avocado. That's what we'll do. This is kind of how I make up meals, guys. Not everything is like chef worthy. Like you really no chef. I barely just figured out how to cook when I got married. And it was a few years after I got married. It's just, I like to eat and I like for things to taste good. And I kind of just pull them together. So yeah, I'm gonna crisp, crisp this up. Give it a little flavor and close that. What do you got? Get that out of there. He doesn't chew it, he just holds on to people's undergarments. And he knows he's not supposed to have it in there. He does that with the old socks too. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm just gonna fry this up and then we'll add in, we'll say 60 grams of this mozzarella and then we'll top it with a um, with some avocado. So, all right, let's, let's plate this up. Okay, my friends, here is lunch. So it's three ounces of rotisserie chicken, 60 grams of mozzarella cheese, and 73 grams of avocado. Um, you guys see me cut up my avocado. People ask me about it. No, I don't I don't get any of those like special kitchen gadgets um, when you could just 
use what you got at home. But if you guys wanted to, I have this neighbor across the street and whoever this person is that picks them up, never like they beep and they beep and they beep and it drives my dog insane. That's my lunch. I'm gonna have me some water um, and call it a day. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this into my carb manager so we can figure out dinner. Um, but I'm thinking of doing like a fat bomb ground beef type deal with some fresh lemon juice, some salt and a little bit of butter. And maybe like a soupish. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do like a, a ground beef bake for the family, but for myself, I think I'm gonna keep it real simple today and um, do the fat bomb beef. So we'll see. We'll see how my macros look. But this is what's for lunch. Okay, so I wanted to do kind of a body check in here. So how we're kind of looking since we started the strict macros or the up the fat. I wanted to do a update of kind of like how my body is looking now that I've um, switched up my macros and I've lost a few pounds. So definitely I feel like I could see more. Um, I've eaten already, so but I can see some definition in my stomach. And I definitely feel like my waist has gotten smaller and my back is looking definitely leaner. You can see, definitely can see a lot more muscle tone in my arms, which I'm appreciating. And then in like my shoulders for sure. So is the beach this way or is it that way? Where is that go? I don't know. Anyways, that was funny. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to kind of, people are kind of asking how um, it's looking. We're still working on, this is going to be a work in progress. This is kind of that loose my apron of loose skin working on it you know it is what it is but I definitely feel like my belly has gotten a lot tighter too so I don't know and I feel like even in my face you can definitely hear us better you can see um, more like my I always I have a rounder face but I feel like right here you don't see as much so yes progression progression but all right that's what i wanted to do real quick all right i have to get back to like cleaning and laundry because that's what my life is now okay bye bye so i'm going to actually start cooking up this meat because all recipes i'm i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a good chunk of this and make like a ground beef casserole with some like cream cheese and some cheese on top and some seasoning maybe i'll throw some sasson in there and maybe mix in a veggie i'm kind of just throwing this together okay um that's just kind of how i do but i'm going to brown everything first so i have my frying pan heating up this is about let me weigh it and i'll tell you mm, this is about four pounds of ground beef okay so let's get this in the frying pan all right, so I'm gonna cook this all down. And then, like I said, I'm probably just gonna reserve a little bit for myself. I don't know, we'll see. We gotta see what kind of veggies we have. If we have some broccoli, we might be able to throw some broccoli in here. That might be good. But I'm trying to keep it real basic today. Um, I know a lot of you guys like when I do basic, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but this is definitely a keto, version family meal you know so for my daughters and my husband and it's real hearty and it's going to be it's super cold and snowy outside as you guys seen earlier so this is going to be like a you know good good for your soul type meal but let's see what kind of veggies we got let's see what kind of veggies do we have we have brussels sprouts and spinach We'll probably throw some chopped spinach in there. Organic chopped spinach. So for three-fourths a cup is one carb. Let me bring this out. So three-fourths a cup is one carb and there's five servings. So for this whole bag is five carbs. But it's zero uh, fat and two protein. And it's... You're gonna, this is gonna sound crazy to people, but I always put chopped spinach in um, like pasta sauces and stuff because it almost, when cooked down, chops like spinach, almost gives like a, a thick cheesy like feeling to the food. So um, I got an idea what we're gonna do. 
boom, just came to me right now. I'm actually going to have it. I was going to do something different, but this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do the ground beef. I'm going to steam this chopped spinach. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get some rows. One of our rows. Let's grab that. So we're gonna use, this is how I get my, my ideas, okay? So, ground beef, Rouse pasta sauce, chopped spinach, you guys see? Mozzarella. Somebody asked if I, why I, sh I don't buy, sh I always shred my cheddar cheeses and stuff like that, but for mozzarella guys, it's always has carbs. I don't know what's in mozzarella. I don't know if it's how it's, whatever it's made. There's always one carb. So there's really, I'd rather just save the time and buy this, honestly. So, um, but I am going to weigh out everything. So with Rouse, it's four carbs for a half a cup. I'll probably use one whole cup because I'm just going to mix the meat with it. I am going to reserve some of this ground beef because we don't need all four pounds. So I'll probably just cook it all and then save some for like a lunch for me tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to mix some red sauce with this, season it, some chopped spinach, some mozzarella. Boom. We're having Italian dinner. We're going to have Italian dinner tonight. That's what we're having. And my kids are going to love it because I still have some fresh bread for them from Mariano's that I picked up the other day. So, yes. So ground beef is done. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. I am going to take some out. I'm going to, like I said, probably about a pound. This is about four pounds. I don't know. I'm going to weigh it out and I'll see. The way we know when I it was when it was raw, it was four pounds on the head. So um, I will take some out, probably a pound, just to leave in the um, refrigerator. And then I have the uh, spinach boiling um, just to cook it up. You could uh, toss it into the microwave and do it that way, but um, I'm trying to stay away from doing all that stuff. I'd rather just go ahead and, and do it this way because I heard if you if you cook your vegetables in the microwave, you lose all your nutrients anyways, so I'd rather just cook them on the stove top for right now. Plus, I have the time. And then I also have my oven preheating at 425 because that's what we're going to bake it on. So once the, the spinach is cooked down, then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll drain it and then we'll add everything in together. Right there is some sweet potatoes, but those are for Benny because Benny can't, I don't feed Benny a lot of like dog treats unless I get them from like a, like a bakery or something, you know what I mean? Like a dog bakery because um, I, he, I don't like giving him like the additives and he has a sensitive stomach. So I like to give him um, uh, some sweet potatoes and I put them in his food as well because I make his food homemade. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, so I have my drained spinach. This is the whole bag. I kept the bag so we can make a recipe out of it. So we have everything right now. So just under three pounds of ground beef, one whole bag of um, organic chopped spinach. So you guys are getting some vegetables in there. You're gonna have some fiber. You know, the good stuff, you should eat your greens. A lot of people are surprised that I'm able to stay in ketosis and eat vegetables. You can do it, guys. You just got to pick the correct vegetables and you got to wash your portions. That's it. Especially with spinach. It's really, really good for you. Especially if you can get it where it's still nutrient packed, when it's still like this real nice dark color. It's nice. Perfection. All right. We're going to take our scale and we're going to put our our big old thing on here. I know it looks ridiculous, but we're going to take our we're going to take our rouse and it says we're going to do one cup. So for a half a cup it's 125 grams. So for two cups it's going to be 250 grams, okay? You're going to be careful. Make sure you always weigh out your your rouse, okay? Cuz there is sugar in here. Oof. Okay, 250. So 250 grams, but you're gonna mix it. Okay. I think we're gonna have to do about one and a half cups. I just kind of start off slow and then add in as I go, okay? 
Yeah, I would probably just put one and a half cup more in here just to give it some moisture. So one and a half cups we're gonna use, okay? Okay. And we're just stirring it all up so it has um, a good covering on all. Oops. Benny's standing right here waiting for me to drop something. Okay. There you go. I'm just gonna let that stay right there for a second. And now we're gonna start seasoning. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic. And then we're gonna stir it all up again, okay? So about two tablespoons of garlic, some parsley, about a tablespoon of parsley, just some a little parsley here, just one tablespoon. About a tablespoon of basil as well. Tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And then we're gonna take some black pepper and we're gonna crunch, crack some of that in there. And we're gonna take some sea salt, okay? A little shake, shake. And then we're gonna mix this all up again. So these are all very common Italian seasonings, okay? So it's gonna give it a real good Italian flavor. And it's real easy. I mean, honestly, guys, you just seen how quickly I came up with this. And that's, I mean, some of my recipes I make for you guys, I try to plan them out so I don't repeat stuff. And it gets hard. And, like, I'm not usually that creative all the time. So I'll, like, think of stuff and I'll kind of see what I have. And then I start, like, kind of figuring out what I'm going to make to show you. Because I know, you know, you guys are probably get tired too. But this one was real easy. I don't know if I've ever made this one on here yet. But whatever. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Okay, next we're going to take our mozzarella. We are going to take, I'll tell you right now. So usually it goes by 30 grams. So let's see what it takes to get it. I just want to get a nice coating on top. So let's see how much that is. All right, about 150 grams. So that's about five carbs right there too. So we have 12 carbs with the sauce, five carbs with um, the mozzarella, five carbs with the um, spinach. So 22 carbs for this whole pan. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna bake this in the oven for about 20, yeah, about 25 minutes or so, just so everything gets bubbly and all cooked up. But yeah, so if you ate this whole thing, which I don't suggest you doing, because you'll probably barf, um, it's about 20, what I say, 22, 25 carbs, which is not bad. But we're gonna divide that in, you know, to six servings, okay? But I'll build the recipe and do all the macros and we'll come up with that after, um, in a minute right now. I'll do it right now, so we could, I'll show you guys, okay? But all right, into the oven, this shall go. Okay, so my family is home, it is dinner time. I took this out of the oven and um, I ended up cutting it into eight servings because it is um, not only pretty big, but it is pretty deep. So, um, and I went ahead and I made the recipe in my carb manager. So yeah, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and serve this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But again, super simple, you kind of see me just bring it to life as we were kind of just sitting there and it all worked out. So, um, yeah, let me just, uh, cut this bad boy up here. So here is, um, this is going to be Leo's plate, but this is what the servings look like. This is why I divided them into eight because they are very big. So, um, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to eat, but you could see there's the spinach, the red sauce, the mozzarella, um, I'm probably going to top mine with a little bit of the marinara. So let me get that one out for you so I can show you which brand I use. This is the one I like. This is the Vienna Mild Jarnera. And the macros are pretty decent. So zero carbs, one fat for two tablespoons. So there's Benny's stuff. But yeah, 
So Italian is what's for dinner. An Italian um, bake. If you guys weren't keto, you could totally throw pasta in this. Or if you had family um, there and you wanted to make some pasta to throw on top, I'm going to serve my kids some fresh bread with it. So there you go. And if you had some fresh Parmesan, you could put that on there as well. But I'm going to pass on that today. So there you go. Okay, so here is my reading after dinner. Um, it's a point nine, so it did drop a little bit, but that was to be expected considering um, I had like that red sauce and a little bit of that uh, spinach. But nonetheless, it's still a really great reading and it's about 25 minutes or so after dinner. So I'll take it. I think it's a really good number considering it's higher that it was earlier and I mean you, you tend to spike and then you usually should be between like 1 and 1.5 um, throughout the day so 0.9 is good I'll take that um, let's look at our macros really quickly I'm gonna get my okay so grand total of macros today is 6 of 19 net carbs a total of 14 which is great 8 grams of fiber 121 grams of fat and 61 grams of protein Hmm, I already had my second Bulletproof coffee of the day. That's kind of low. I'm gonna up that fat a little bit. Um, hmm, so what I could do is if I had fat bombs, I would definitely consider having one of those. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the other half of this avocado. And then that should get me, um, Let's go back. Okay, so I got it up to about 130. I'm trying to do between 140 and 150. That's not bad. My uh, protein is 62, so that's good. And I got 20 total carbs, so not too bad. Um, I just went ahead and added uh, the other half of that avocado, so I'll eat that later um, for a snack. But I do have two servings of Bulletproof coffee because I'm actually just going to have one right now um, for after dinner. And then we have that rotisserie chicken, the mozzarella, the two servings of avocado and then that Italian bake. I only ended up having a half a serving because let me show you, like it was really, really thick. So I ended up only um, just like taking, <laughs> I ended up just like cutting it down the side and adding it that way because it was just too much and I didn't want to get like a stuffed feeling. So that's just what I ate and I thought it was really filling. Um, obviously the family ate it really well. So they all liked it. The kids even finished it. So they even got like a serving of veggies, you know, it was a nice home cooked meal and everybody ate good and it was easy. Kind of figure out how to do, I don't, I haven't adjusted my macros. Like, you know, it just, I know what I want to hit. So that's just kind of what I watch. But if you're going to want to add a recipe, people ask me all the time, you go to this little new part, you add new, you hit recipe, you're going to name it. You're going to, it says yield, so that's going to be how many servings. If you're going to make something that's only for you, then do one. If it's for you and your family, whatever, okay? So, like, for that one, I served it into eight slices, so I made it eight servings. And then you're going to go down to this ingredients, and you're going to hit plus, and you can look up everything. You just search, you hit the search. You could scan it, all the things, okay? And then once you're done, you just hit the save button, and then, no, I don't want to, I didn't do anything. And then um, you're going to go to My Foods up here, and that's where you'll find all your recipes. So you'll see my, my 90 second bread, my bacon um, pork loin, my burgers, chicken parmesan, you know, when I make the eggplant, you know, all the things that I've made are in here. So I could just go back and see, okay? So hopefully that helps. Hopefully, you know, you guys get a kind of an idea. You know, as you've seen, like I start, I hope that doesn't gross you guys out. As you've seen, I started out low, um, like at a 0.5, I was able to go ahead and hit like 1.6, and then I'm gonna end the day 0.9. Probably if I waited a little bit longer, I would probably hit about a one, and I find that to be okay. That's good. Um, it's getting me into that, that therapeutic weight loss ketosis, so like that one to three is where I wanna be. It keeps me on a steady um, downward trend of weight loss as well. I did not weigh myself today, so I can't really tell you um, where it's the scale's looking, but nonetheless, you know, you don't, it's not every day I wake up and I'm at like a 1.8 or something, you know, it just each day varies. So if this helps you out, please give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And yeah, so let me know, what do you guys think? Um, is this helping you out? Any, you know, any other requests, please let me know. And I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next one. Take it easy, friends.